Hey guys, so hopefully by now you have received my little magazine that I recently subscribed to for you guys. It's a little gift for me. I hope you like it. If you don't, I really want your honest feedback because it does, you know, cost a little bit of money and I'd rather spend my money on things that you like rather than things that you don't. So if it's not something that's resonating with you, please let me know and I will look for something better. So I thought it might be fun to make one of the recipes that was included in that edition for you guys. It's this recipe, um, which is the avocado sugar scrub. I thought it was really cute and kind of a fun thing to do since the holidays are upon us and you might have house guests that you want to treat to something natural that um, they can pamper themselves with when they come visit. So please forgive me. I have to read the recipe with my readers. I cannot read on my own anymore now that I am 52. So here we go. The ingredients are one avocado, one half cup olive oil, one fourth cup aloe juice, two cups cane sugar, and 10 drops essential oil. And it says on here to slice the avocado in half, put it in a food processor, add all the other ingredients, and pour into a decorative container, I guess, for you to share with your guests. And then it gives you this note, because the quality of the scrub is due to its freshness, it's best to prepare it shortly before you're ready to use it. Otherwise, it might turn brown due to oxidation. Well, I don't know how practical that is. But anyway, I'm gonna make it and let's just see how it goes. Now, I do not have a food processor, so I'm going to use my handy dandy Nutribullet to blend all these ingredients. I don't think it really matters. You can use a blender, or you could probably even just mix it in a bowl with a fork. It's up to you. So let's get this party started. Here are the ingredients. Here's my little recipe card to go by. And I'm gonna put all this stuff together and blend it for you guys in just a second. All right, so to be totally transparent with you guys, I did this recipe earlier and messed it up. So <laughs> I'm starting over to show you guys how to do it according to the instructions, which is what this is all about. But sometimes I get ahead of myself, so I messed it up. So here we go. So I have to use two avocados because the ones that I have now are small. And so the two of these together are about the same size as the avocado I originally started with. So I'm again using my little Nutribullet because I don't have a food processor. The uh, recipe calls for a food processor, but the Nutribullet works just fine. So I'm putting my avocado in here and this one turned out to not be so good. So I'm gonna ditch that one and hope that I have two good ones in here for me to work with. Oh, this one's perfect. Great. All right. So I'm going to put that into my um, Nutribullet and add a second one. This is such a fun recipe, but um, I do wonder about the longevity of this particular product. So again, according to the recipe, it does want you to, you know, use the product right away. And it does call for sugar. I wonder if salt might not be a good option as well. The sugar will have a tendency to make it a little sticky, right? Um, but we'll play by the rules, okay? So I've got my avocado equivalent of one large avocado or two small avocados and then the recipe calls for half a cup of olive oil i'm using the signature brand extra virgin olive oil i got it at randall's so this is a quarter cup so i'm going to do two of these and the mistake i made earlier was i did the wet ingredients and then i also added the sugar before i blended it and that was a no-no because the recipe asks you to add the sugar in once your liquid is already blended. So that was a quarter cup. I need to add one more. Now the aloe juice that it calls for, I had a hard time finding this in the store. I used aloe exposed brand, I guess. Anyway, it was hard to find, but I finally found it on the shelf next to the coconut waters so if you can't find it in the store 
look for it there. And the recipe calls for uh, one fourth cup aloe juice. So that would be just one of these little guys. And the other thing that I learned from doing this earlier is the recipe calls for 10 drops of essential oils. You might wanna play with that. I did 10 earlier and it wasn't smelly enough for me. I want more smell. So I'm actually going to triple the amount of essential oils that it asks for in the recipe. If I were you, I would just play with it. Do the 10. Smell it, if it doesn't have enough essence to it, just add another 10 and then maybe a third 10 if you want to. Okay, I did 30, so let's just see how that goes. And then let's put the lid on here and I'm gonna blend it real quick. And this is gonna work a lot better. Earlier, it was really hard to blend because I had the sugar in there. And it took away the graininess of what this scrub is supposed to be. So don't do that. Don't follow my mistake. Go ahead and blend all the wet ingredients. And then it says to put it in your decorative container and add the sugar after. This is going to work a lot better than what I did before. Let me see if I can find something to put it in. I think I'm just going to mix it in a mixing bowl really quick. And then I'll, I'll put it in a decorative jar. So this is really, this is really pretty. Ooh, and I did the 30. Um, mint drops and this is a lot better. I don't know if I told y'all that I used mint. I bet you could use lavender or even like an orange or lemon essence would be really nice. But I did mint because um, we're coming up on the holidays and I thought that might be a fun thing to do. Plus I just love mint either in my hair or in my skin. On my skin. I love the way it feels. But it might be too much for some people so uh, of course, add this, the flavor that you're most attracted to. And I'm just trying to get this out of the lid. All right, so here, I'll point this towards you so you can see what it looks like. Isn't that cool? It's really soft. Okay, now I will add my two cups of sugar. So this is a one cup measuring. So I'm gonna do two of these, mix it in here. Imperial sugar. I'm sure you could use any brand you wanted. Now I've got somebody mowing my backyard, so I hope that doesn't intrude on our lovely video. But look at how I'm mixing it. I just kind of want to show you guys. It takes a minute to get it all mixed up. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. It's like a light green. It does say on the recipe card, you're gonna to wanna to use this right away because obviously avocados turn brown after a bit. So you don't want it to look ugly for your guests if you're gonna use it for them or even for yourself. So this is what it looks like in the end. And let me see what it feels like. Oh yeah, this is much better than the one that I had blended before. Oh, I love it on my hands. It feels so good in emollient. Now, this recipe is fun to make, but I will tell you, like I said, it doesn't, it's not shelf stable. And it is kind of, you know, it takes a minute to make. It might be a pain in the butt. So while I was uh, searching for the ingredients for this particular recipe, I looked on the shelf at the store just to see if what they had that was comparable that is shelf stable. And I found this St. Ives fresh skin scrub. 
got apricots in it, I guess. And it says it's all natural too, and it's shelf stable. So there's that if you don't wanna make this lovely recipe. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you're enjoying the magazine. And as always, please consider thinking of me with any of your friends or loved ones that might be looking for a home or to sell a home. I would love the opportunity to be interviewed for the, to represent them. I'm always looking for new business and I love working with people like you. So thank you for enriching my life with your business, your referrals and your friendship. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and have a great day. Bye now.